the one quarter design so quarter design is basically one fourth quarter design instead of one half it is one fourth for example two to the power six design to get a full uh, replication one full factorial replication we need 64 uh, runs to complete just one replication of the experiments so that's too much experiments to do and most of these variables a b c d f they probably don't are not significant so it will be wasters of time to kind of running that 64 uh, experiments um, to find out which one is actually significant instead of that what is typically done is one fourth of this thing is run instead of um, 64 so one fourth of 64 is basically um, 16 experiments so that is called then it's become two to the power six minus two like that and uh, design so one quarter design or one fourth design something like that so in this design we need two defining relationship remember when we have a one defining relation and then we had one fraction one half fraction of the design now we need two defining relations so here in this case a b c e and b c d f we could choose any higher order defining relation it doesn't have to be a b c e it could be b c d e something like that uh, so here we choose two and then the this one comes basically the in general interaction generalized interaction of these two so the generalized interaction of these two would be a b square c square d e f so b square is the identity because if we square plus that's a plus if we square minus that's also a plus so that's an identity so b square c square gone we have a d e f so this is not really something new this is the general interaction of the two defining relations that we have uh, set for this design now as i said you can randomly pick, pick any combination of four um, uh, to make um, resolution 4 design but the 4 is not related to resolution 4 design resolution 4 design is basically uh, this uh, one factor interact main effect is not uh, is not aliased with the two uh, factor interaction so that is how the um, resolution 4 is designed and two factor interactions are aliased with each other also with third fourth order interaction but not with third uh, order interaction so if we want to find out how this a is coming so if you see this identity let's just show it here so one of the defining relation or word we have used is a b c e so we can simply write a is b c e we can just separate a we can separate b from here so that would be um a c e something like that and so on so here it is done already so a is equal to a is aliased with b c e then remember we have used also another defining relation we found by from the generalized interaction of these two defining relation which is a d f now if you separate that a d f that you can also write here separate a d f is going to be d e f so that's def comes from uh, this defining relation here now this one is the general interaction of all of these three so if you multiply these three it's going to be a b c e square so that is identity gone so a b c d f like that similarly you can separate b from this defining relation so that's going to be a c e and also this defining relation which is c d f then so b is aliased with a c e is aliased with c d f and also their generalized interaction is also aliased with each other and if you keep going this way now remember we ran 16 of these experiments so we have total 16 runs so degrees of freedom is basically 16 minus 1 15 so we can only 
find out 16 pieces of information. If you count all these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these are the effects, factorial effects, you can estimate by this uh, design. So we can see all main effects, um, A, B, C, D, F here. We can see all main effects and they're not aliased. And they're not aliased with the two-factor interaction. So we can also see some two-factor interaction, not all of them though, because some of them, A, B is aliased with C, D. So when you're actually measuring A, B, we are actually measuring C, E, A, D, C, F. So some two-factor interactions, we can get some information. Uh, Three-factor interaction, some, not all of them, because as you can see here, this ABD is basically aliased with these three. So when you are estimating ABD, you can only estimate this. So a lot of these uh, factorial effects are aliased with each other so you can't get separate pieces of information however the idea of this experiment is to separate the insignificance variable so once you say two of them are not significant or three of them it not, not if two of them is not significant let's say cd is not significant then you have four variables so four variables simply two to the power four is 16 so you get full replication of um, a factorial design if it's three of them not significant then you get to replication with that three variables so the idea is not really to estimate the effect or you know see it's just only to see which one is significant which one is not and then it's kind of a screen all the uh, unimportant ones so that's the idea of this uh, one quarter design if you have a bunch of variables like that now to see the plus minus structure this is how this thing look like as you can have done this before so we have one defining relationship we can separate the e from there so a b c d is there so with 16 uh, runs we can complete a full factorial with four variables so a b c d that's the basic layout we're gonna use and then to get e simply we separate that from one of these defining relation to get E, we just separate that from another defining relation. So that's the, that would be the sign for the F, that would be the sign for um, E. Now, it doesn't really matter if you run the principal block fast or alternating blocks. In this case, these, these are all used positive. Positive means we are actually getting all principal uh, fraction so principal fraction so that principal fraction we're getting from this uh, um, this uh, two but if we use for example i equals say minus a b c e then we can get the alternate fraction if we do i equals minus b c d e we can get alternate again when we can also do a combination of that. So it doesn't matter which one we run. Typically, the principal blocks uh, are run uh, first and then the alternate one. 